I think my favorite sign that I've seen is bridge may be icy. Because it's so honest, you know? It's just like, bridge, maybe, I don't know. I'm a, a sign. I don't have a conscious mind. I'm a tilted yellow square. I mean, what are these shapes on the front of me? I mean, bridge may be chocolate, whatever you want. I don't care. Bridge may not be icy. That means the same thing as bridge may be icy. That's even better, you know, more optimistic. That's a better sign. It seems like there's a fine line between having a pet and having a hostage from a different species. You go to somebody's house, they're like, close the door, he'll get out. Close the door, he'll get out. Okay. What kind of relationship do you have with this dog exactly? I saw a poster that said, missing cat. They had a picture of the cat and a whole description. Missing, huh? I think that's from the human perspective. <laughs> the cat made that poster, it'd say, free cat, finally. Picture the cat would be like, cat is hunter, cat gets own food, cat has no first name, don't look for cat, fuck off, leave cat alone, fuck off. I have an L-shaped sofa, lowercase. People get so mad when you run and try to catch the elevator. You can't get over how angry they get. What they really hate is when you run and catch it and you go, I just want to say, hey, everybody, have a good ride, okay? <laughs> I like French toast way better than toast. And I think a French kiss is nicer than just a plain kiss. So I guess the rule is, if you make something French, you make it better. Except for people. <laughs> I don't like when I'm stopped at a stoplight, I'm sitting there in my car. The light changes, and people in the crosswalk, and they don't, like, hurry up to get out of the way. And sometimes there'll be, like, a tough guy in the group, and he'll, like, slow down almost, just to show how tough he is. He's, like, looking at my car like he's gonna fight it, you know? <laughs> I think you should be able to hit one person a year with your car. Not to kill, just to communicate, just to say, hey, you know, it was my turn. And then as he rolls over the top of your car, maybe he'd be thinking, God, this guy used his one hit for the year on me. Maybe I'm a dick. Yeah. One time I was at a crosswalk and I saw a guy wearing the same shirt that I was wearing. It was kind of a specific shirt and I looked at him and he was a dork, just like a dorky looking guy. And I thought, I've got the same taste is a dork. That makes me a dork. That sucks, you know? Two months later, I'm in a restaurant. It happened again. I see a guy wearing the same shirt that I'm wearing, but he was really good looking. He was with a beautiful woman, and I just looked at him and I thought, I'm the dork. <laughs> Quesadilla, that's a word that you never see the English translation for. You never see that in English, you know? They just keep it in Spanish. I guess because maybe it's too awkward or something. You know, I feel like, and for you, sir, I will have the queso, cheese, female, small, please. <laughs> One little cheese girl for me. That'd be great. <laughs> okay. You want any peppers or chicken in there? No, I, th I think she's been through enough. I'll just have the... <laughs> I feel like they could bring fajitas out from the kitchen a little bit later. A lot of showboating going on with fajitas. That it seems unnecessary. It's a fire emergency coming through the dining rooms. Ah, it's fajitas. They just need attention. Fuck them. I took Super Shuttle from the airport. I think they forgot to put the word slow in the middle of their name. <laughs> I think if a recipe is unhealthy for you, they should change their tone in how they describe the steps. I feel like the tone never changes. It's just like a sociopath telling you what to do. And they don't care if it's like quinoa or cheesecake. They're just like, just do this, I don't care. But if it's unhealthy, you know, if it's like cinnamon sticky buns, step one, run seven miles. <laughs> step six, before combining brown sugar and caramel in bowl, take off all of your clothes and stand in front of the mirror. <laughs> you sure you wanna do this? All right. <laughs> Step 14, contact your doctor. You have diabetes. <laughs> you can say mind your own business, or you can say mind your own beeswax. I think that's the only time you can really substitute beeswax for business. 
Is your trip uh, beeswax or pleasure, sir? It's, uh, it's a beeswax trip, actually, yeah. <laughs> it's personal beeswax. I'd rather not talk about it. What are you doing after college? I um, applied to beeswax school, so we'll see what happens. My dad's a small beeswax owner. So. When they came out with the Phillips head screwdriver, I wonder if the guy who did the flathead was like, what? <laughs> we can get credit for this? Shit. <laughs> I find that athletic clothes are perfect for just sitting around in. <laughs> I think what I like the most about people who are very religious is how open they are to other people's points of view. <laughs> I heard this R&B song, came on the radio, I was in a rental car, I turned the radio on, this song comes on, this guy's like, kind of telling a story, he's like kind of whining, but okay, I'm listening. All of a sudden, in the middle of the song, a rapper shows up. I guess these guys are friends or something. He shows up, he does a whole rap, which is his own thing, finishes up, he takes off. We never hear from him again, he's gone. First guy comes back and he finishes the story and then the song's over. I just thought that was hilarious because I've never seen that in any other art form. You know? Not like in literature, you know, you're reading a book. What do you think of that novel? Pretty good, you know, I like, I got into the story in the first seven chapters. Then in the middle, there was a really angry first-person essay. <laughs> this other writer, I guess, I don't know if they're friends or something, but... You know, this guy has a big dick, he's gonna sleep with all these women, it's a whole thing, and uh... He's not gonna buy him stuff, though, he made that clear. He'll sleep with them, but he's not, you know, not looking to get tied down, and uh... All caps, very, very confident, uh... <laughs> A lot of it rhymed, and then the essay was over, and then went back to the story. Yeah, I'm sorry. Right. I don't know why, but if somebody's smelling something, and they also close their eyes while they're doing it, I just want to smack them in the face. <laughs> People only mention that it's a free country when they're doing something shitty. <laughs> I wonder if you're in prison, if the other inmates judge you based on what you're in for, like when they're organizing events or activities, you know? Like, should we get Joey on the committee? Nah, he's in for attempted murder. I feel like he doesn't really see things through. <laughs>